for this video, I am going to discuss another method of determining or computing the depreciation cost. Um, this is the double declining balance method. So, with my previous video, I was discussing the declining balance method. They are related. It's a declining balance method. There is only a small modification for this method. Okay, this method is very similar to the declining balance method, except that the rate of depreciation K is replaced by 2 over L. Okay, so this is the only difference, uh, declining balance method, ang pag solve sa K. Uh, K is just 2 over L. So when you want to compete for the depreciation charge per year, you can use the formula sa declining balance method, but replace K by 2 over L. Uh, let's review, okay? This is the formula for the declining balance method. Ang pag-solve sa K using declining balance method is this. Gamit ng expression, salvage value. But for the double declining balance method, we will no longer use this one. Instead, K is 2 over L. So for these two formula, including the salvage value, you just replace K by 2 over L. For this one, for the depreciation, you replace K by 2 over L, 2 over L. Okay? So depreciation charge, this one. Okay? K many, yeah, 2 over L, 2 over L. Book value, same lang. Okay, this one. You replace it by 2 over L. And then last, the salvage value. Okay, this is the salvage value. C sub L. So, C sub O, 1 minus 2 over L. So then. Raise 2 L. So, this will be your formula when using the double declining balance method. Sample problems. Determine the rate of depreciation. The total depreciation up to the end of the eighth year and the book value at the end of eight years for an asset that costs 15,000 pesos and has an estimated scrap value of 2,000 pesos at the end of 10 years. Letter A, by the declining balance method and B, the double declining balance method. So first cost, 15,000. Salvage value or scrap value, 2,000. Life of 10 years. And then N is depreciation and book value at the end of each year. So N equals 8. So for the declining balance method, first that you will solve is K. And given a C sub L, C sub 0, life, and the substitute. Okay, the rate of depreciation is 0.1825 or 18.25%. Okay. Book value after eight years. This one, this is the book value at the end of eight years and then after solving for the book value you can also solve the total depreciation this is the formula value for the for the declining balance method uh in between book value and total depreciation you will solve first for the book value and then the total depreciation it's different uh, straight line method and sinking fund method wherein you will solve first for the total depreciation and then you can solve for the book value for the declining balance method is different you solve first for the book value and then the total depreciation so, 15,000 first cost minus book value 
Okay, this is the total depreciation after eight years. So for the double declining balance method, K is just equal to two over L. Two over ten. That's point two. Okay. And then same formula. Book value is one. And then Total depreciation. Oh, okay. That's the, this. This is the difference. No? Pag solve lang sa k, okay. but the other formulas say equal or same. Another problem: an industrial plant bought a generator set for ninety thousand pesos. Other expenses, including installation, amounted to 10,000 pesos. The generator set is to have a life of 17 years with a salvage value of 5,000 pesos. Determine the depreciation charge during the 13th year and the book value at the end of 13 years by the double declining balance method. Wow. Uh, I solved this problem using a different method, but this time, Let's solve it again using the oblique line balance method. First cost is 100,000. That's 90,000 plus other expenses. And rate of depreciation K, it's just 2 over L. So 2 over 17. That's 11.76%. So depreciation during the 13th year, okay, this is the formula. So just substitute the value of K and this is the answer. And then book value at the end of 13 years. Formula, substitute values. And then you have the book value. Another one, a plant bought a calciner for 220,000 pesos and, and, uh, and used it for 10 years, the lifespan of the equipment. What is the book value of the calciner after five years of use? Assume a scrap value of 20,000 pesos for double declining balance method. So first cost, salvage value, life, and N out of five. Actually, it's a double declining balance method. Okay, we will not use the scrap value uh, because when you solve for the rate of depreciation, you just need the value of L. So two over L, two over 10.2. Okay. Uh, so. What is asked is the book value after five years. This one. So substitute. And this is the answer. And you will notice now wala nagamit ang wala nagamit ang salvage value. It's a double declining balance. Adob as a declining balance method. We use this one in solving for K. But for the double declining balance method. Wala, wala salvage value. It's just 2 over L. Okay, so I hope that you have learned something. It's just similar to the declining balance method anyway. So. Thank you. Thank you for watching.